Hi, it's Frank from Man Lake, and today I'm here with Adam, the technical manager for Green Life Biosciences, and we're here to talk about their product, Neroa, a Varroa controlled product that acts differently than some of the products that are out there currently. So we're gonna talk about how it works. Now I know that I removed the label, I put two packs on per brood box. There's little perforations in there for the bees to take the syrup, which contains the active ingredient. Once they take that syrup, what do they do with that? Right, so yeah, once, they, once you pull that sticker back and expose the perforations, the bees take in the syrup like they would any other syrup you provide and store it down in the brood box. Um, they use that, that stored syrup uh, for their brood food like they would any other time. We're just using the processes that are already happening in the hive. Um, and they use that for feeding the larva. Um, during the last feeding before the cell gets capped, um, the varroa mite's gonna hide underneath that larva and get exposed to the brood food that contains the active ingredient. Um, they can just absorb that active ingredient through contact and it's gonna shut down their ability to reproduce. Okay, so, so what you're saying, it's not really a miticide because it doesn't kill the mite, but it affects her ability to reproduce at that point. That's right, it's classified as a miticide, um, but because it doesn't kill them, it's kind of something totally new compared to everything else that we have available for mite treatments. Right, so if I were going to use this, can I use it any time of year? And do I want honey supers on? Do I not want them on? So because we're not killing mites, it's best to use uh, anytime mites are low um, be and because we want to maintain that low mite population. Technically, uh, you can use it with supers on, but to, for best efficacy, you want to use it without supers. Um, you want it stored down in the brood box. And if you have supers on, they're naturally going to want to move that, that sugar syrup up into the supers and store it there. So we, for, for best efficacy, we want to do it during a nectar dearth. So we want it maybe early spring before any spring flow starts, and they're just raising a lot of brood. Or after we pulled honey supers, maybe our summer dearth, or in the fall right before we send them into winter are the optimal times. Right, yep. Are there any temperature restrictions? There's no temperature restrictions on Aroa. Anytime that you can work your bees, you can apply it. What about PPE? Uh, no special PPE is needed. Whatever you wear to work your bees uh, is what you need to apply Aroa. Okay, so when I put this on the colony, how long do I leave this packet in there? The pouches only need to be left in usually for a few days. Um, the bees will drain them pretty quick. Um, you can leave them in up to three weeks, but you generally don't need to leave them in that long. They're usually empty long before that. So, so pretty much if I'm checking my colony, as soon as these packets are empty, I can take them off. Because at that point, our active ingredients have been stored into the brood nest. Right, uh, as soon as they're empty, your work you can take them out and your work is done, then the bees are doing everything for you. How long is that active ingredient in the brood nest and how long does this control last? So the bees will usually empty the packs in just a couple of days. Um, so as soon as they're empty, you can take them off, but it's safe to leave them in uh, for a few weeks. Um, so you can wait a few weeks to take them out. Um, but as soon as they're empty, you can come take them out. At that point, your work is done and the bees are doing all the, works, the work for you. Um, they're dispersing it throughout the brood box. Um, so it'll be in there working until they use it all up. Um, our field trials have shown that it's effective for up to 18 weeks. So that's four, four and a half months um, of control, keeping the mite levels nice and low. So I could actually, if I time it right, I could use it twice a season, spring, fall, spring, summer, and try to keep that low. Yeah. Now I've seen where you say that this helps in overwintering success. Is that due to keeping that mite count low? What, what plays into that? That's exactly right. You know, if you apply it, um, in the spring or midsummer, and you're keeping a low mite level um, when you start creating your winter bees you're going to go into winter with nice healthy bees that have had a low mite level uh, so they haven't been the mites haven't been able to do damage they haven't been transmitting diseases into your winter bees um, so you're just going to go into winter with nice healthy bees with good fat bodies um, and that gives a really good chance for over overwintering success our field trials have shown up to 75 percent winter survival wow that's a good number so they're going in, being they're going in healthier, less virus, all that, we can expect a better winter survival with these. Exactly. Is there any negative effect on our bees, whether it be the queens, uh, the adult bees, the brood, is there any, any effect from this? We know that sometimes there is from other treatments we do. 
Uh, no, uh, the active ingredient is, is designed to be targeted specifically to varroa mites. Um, so there's no impact on the bees at all. As far as they're concerned, uh, the pouches just contain sugar syrup. Okay, and being this does not give you a mite knockdown, it just stops the, that population of mites from increasing. I want to use this when I already have a low mite count. So I'm, I'm wondering, do I do a treatment before this, I put this on? Can I do a treatment at the same time I'm feeding syrup? You know, how do, how do I use this the, in the most effective way? Is it getting that mite count down first and then doing this, do it at the same time? What do you recommend? Yeah, so if your mite level is already low, um, you can just put the pouches in um, and maintain that nice low number. If your mite level is higher than what you want to maintain, um, you could really do it either way. You could do a knockdown and put these in. Um, if you don't have time for that or you just want to get a head start, we've done studies showing that you can put them in at the exact same time as another knockdown um, and they'll play very well together. Um, and there's really no negative interactions between any of the, of the current existing knockdown treatments or, and the neural pouches. So I probably want to use this based on my locale, my honey flow, you know, my spring, if I have a summer dearth or in the fall, I kind of just want to use it what works for me in my area. It wouldn't be the same all the way around. Exactly, you need to be aware of your local conditions, um, how you wanna manage your bees and take all of that into account. So for me, if I were to use it in my area, which is the Northeast part of the country, I would either wanna use this in the early spring when I've got a low mite count to keep it low or in my summer dearth in that July, August period after I've done a mite treatment to knock them down, then put this on, and then possibly in the fall to stop that, any buildup whatsoever from fall through winter. Yeah, any of those options would, would really work great. How long can I keep this? How long can I store this before I have to use it? It has a two year shelf life. Um, as long as you store it at in a room temperature, um, it'll last for two years. Okay, so I don't want to keep it in any warm areas, hot areas. It's mostly room temperature, cool, it's best. Right. Because it's a sugar syrup with your active ingredient in it. Right. You don't want to keep it um, in a really hot environment for a long time, uh, but keeping it in the pickup as you're out working your bees on a hot day, that won't have any negative impacts. So for, for the most effective uh, use of it, I probably want to use it when I'm in some sort of a dearth, spring, summer, fall when I don't have honey supers on, so the bees keep this down in the brood nest where, where it's gonna come into contact with those mites. Right, yeah, once it's, once it's down in the brood box, that's where it'll stay um, and it'll be most effective being stored down there. Right, uh, where's the product made? Uh, it's completely US manufactured, distributed. Everything is, is here in the USA. And where can I get it? Exclusively through Man Lake. Great product. Another tool we've got in our arsenal for mite control. And I think, you know, anything we could do to help the beekeepers become more successful, it's a great thing. We, we know we all struggle with mites. It seems to be the root of all our problems. So use this, clean your bees up, keep it low with this, and we're gonna have successful beekeepers.